Today we're going to be looking at another uh, live CD that I created, a custom distro of Linux uh, that I created for fun to make uh, your life a little bit easier. Um, so head on over to the link in the description. It's filmsbychris.com forward slash custom distros. When you get there, this one's called Quick Office Backup. Click on there. There's a quick description of it. You can see I actually made this a month ago and just now getting around to making a video for it. Um, and uh, download this... Uh, zip file, this tar zip file. And when you're done downloading it, you can open it up and extract the three folders inside to a USB uh, flash drive, a thumbnail drive. Uh, you'll have the three folders like so. And what you're going to want to do first is go into um, boot. And you'll see that there's a boot install bat and a boot install sh. If you're on Windows, go ahead and double click the boot install bat. If you're in Linux or another Unix type system, go ahead and double click the sh file for shell. And you'll probably ask if you want to display or run it. I would run it in the terminal, or I actually even like just opening up the terminal and running the command like so. And what that will do will, will make your USB flash drive bootable. At that point, you can restart your system or another system and choose to boot from the flash drive and you'll get this menu and uh, you'll have three options the first option here is the remote backup and the other two are the same ones in text mode so you can see everything that's going on and the other ones a graphic mode that uh, uh, which is what we're going to show today and basically what this is going to do is it's going to search every hard drive on that computer uh, that is not encrypted and that should search most uh, uh, formats, so FAT formats, NTSF, uh, EXT2, EXT3. It does not do EXT4. This is based on Slacks. So there might be a module for EXT4. Uh, go ahead and throw that on there if you wanted to scan that. But most, the most common hard drive formats uh, are available there. I'm going to choose uh, Quick Backup Graphic Mode. And what that's going to do is going to find all the most common files that are office files and back them up to the flash drive uh, and at the end of this tutorial I'll show you how to customize it to back up other files but if you just want to back up all your office files real quick this thing will search all your hard drives and back them up to the flash drive it takes a few seconds to boot and uh, the thing about the graphical mode see the text mode would stay like this and you would see uh, what it's backing up as it's backing it up but the nice thing about the, the graphical mode, the way I have it set up, although you can change the image, is that you can put it in and walk away, and what I have set up will keep people from touching your machine and messing stuff up. In case you're in an office environment and you're worried about people coming over and messing with your computer, here we go. Xorg is starting up, and what I set for the default background, there you go. It looks like the default Windows uh, automatic updates don't turn off the computer it will restart automatically screen and this way right now in the background it's searching all the hard drives on this system and, and flash drives that might be installed external hard drives anything that's that's hooked up to the computer any hard drive finding all the the office files and backing them up to the flash drive now it is set up this is a fluxbox desktop so you can still and you can disable this if you want you can right click and you still have options so you can go into the terminal and do stuff if you wanted and uh, when it's done, when it's done searching all the hard drives and backing them up, it will automatically shut the computer back down. Let's look a little bit more at the code here, though. So here we are. We're back. This is what your flash drive looks like when you plug it in a machine that's already running. And uh, we already looked in the boot folder here, which, uh, which basically has uh, the install files and the bootloader. Uh, you can change the bootloader screen if you wanted. This is the screen that we saw when we first booted off flash drive. But let's go back and go into, well, let me mention the quick backup uh, folder here. This is where all the office files or any of the files that you have it set to back up will automatically be backed up too. They'll just all be listed right in here. Now by default, Slacks, which is what I based this live CD on, uh, has a few office files on it. I left those on there as a test. So if you come in here, there's like three or four uh, office files. You know that your that the flash drive ran properly. If you come in here and it's still blank like this, that means that something went wrong. It exited prematurely and and the code just didn't work right because it should always 
find at least those three files or four files. Going back and looking at the Slacks folder, this is the main operating system part of it, the, the Linux operating system that we're booting from. Now, if we go to this root copy, this is the, the stuff that I customize. Other than this, pretty much everything on this system is the default Slacks install. Root would be the root folder, and in here is the wallpaper. So if you wanted to change this to a different image other than this wallpaper that says, uh, you know, do not restart your computer, you can put pictures of cats and dogs if that makes you happy. You know, just something up on the screen to let you know that the drive is running. Uh, then under the user folder, there's inside the share folder is nothing but a blank sound. That's just to disable the default startup sound of the Slack system when the Xorg starts. Um, and you can put a sound in there if you want, if you want a startup sound. Um, and here we have four files. This is where all the magic happens. These are four uh, shell script files, bash script files. The first two have to do with the remote backup, which we'll get into in the next video. Uh, other than that, we've got this one, the quick local start. All that does is starts the, the other code, the, uh, the quick local, which is this one here. And if we display that, and then basically this code will start that and throw it in the background. Uh, we'll display that, and you'll see it's a very short, simple code. It's going to find on all the hard drives that are mounted any file type that is a Microsoft database file, a doc file, a docx file, an Excel file. Those are just defaults I put in, but you can put any file format you want. If you want it to find all JPEGs or all PNG files, or if there's if you want it to find Open Office files as well, it will find them, and as it finds them, it will copy them to the flash drive. And then it will echo the name of the file. So if you're in text mode, you can see those going by. Once it's done, once it's searched everything, it's just gonna shut down the computer. And the only other really thing that I changed uh, out of all this is um, if we go back into this boot menu, uh, in here somewhere, do, 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 do. Ah, Slacks config, I think is where it is. We'll display this file. And this is basically the bootloader screen. And you can see these are our options. You know, this is uh, our FTP backup, our remote backup, our graphic mode, and our text mode. And the only thing really different in here is you'll see that uh, inside the list of things that it does when it boots is that it runs quick local start. And that's what will run the program, the script that I just showed you. So real simple. Real easy to modify if you want to modify in a real quick way to back up your files to your flash drive without having to go and search them all. So if you're in a hurry, you got to go somewhere, you can plug this in, go get ready when you come back, take your flash drive and go. Uh, and my next video, I'll show you the remote option, which means you have to set up a server somewhere, but basically you plug this in, in a few seconds it copies around, you can boot off a CD or a flash drive, walk away, when you get back, your files should be on your server. Uh, so that's our next tutorial. But once again, look in the description of this file or this video, and you'll see a link to my custom distro page, which is filmsbychris.com, custom distros. And either on the top bar here or on the sidebar here, click quick office backup and download that file. And that's about it. Get ready for the second file to, or second video to see how we do a remote backup quickly and automatically to help you, you know, back up your files. Have a great day and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.